Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and today we are going to continue our series on earthing and lightning protection. In this video, we are going to talk about lightning conductors and how they work. The points that we are going to cover in this video are What is lightning? What are lightning conductors and how do they protect us? How does a lightning conductor work? What are the types of lightning conductors? Let's start with what is lightning? I am sure we have all seen or experienced a flash of lightning. But let's talk about the science behind it. Lightning is a sudden discharge of charges built up in the clouds, temporarily neutralizing them. On average, there can be an instantaneous release of 1 billion joules of energy during a lightning flash. This is a huge amount of energy and can result in widespread destruction of buildings and electrical systems that can lead to a loss of lives. The impact can be more disastrous in the case of tall buildings as lightning tends to hit them first. You must have seen the shape of a flash of lightning in the sky. Lightning forms a network of channels called leaders while trying to neutralize the charged clouds. A channel or a leader formed within the clouds is called a cloud flash and a leader that reaches the ground is called a ground flash. These leaders may form many branches before reaching the ground. There are mainly two ways in which lightning can hit a body. They are direct lightning strikes and indirect lightning strikes. In a direct lightning strike, if a living body becomes a part of the flash channel, there is an enormous amount of energy flowing into the body which can be fatal. This energy quickly increases the heat in the materials to extreme temperatures and causes fires or explosions. In an indirect lightning strike, the lightning travels long distances through any conducting medium, electrical wires, plumbing, televisions or telephone lines and hits a further object. Both direct and indirect lightning strikes are equally damaging depending on the amount of energy it carries. Hence, we can say that the damage caused by a lightning strike is unpredictable. So, how do we protect ourselves from such disasters? This is where lightning conductors come into the picture. What are lightning conductors and how do they protect us? Most of us have seen buildings or electrical systems exploding or a tree catching fire due to a lightning strike either in real life or at least in a video. To overcome such disasters, devices such as lightning conductors are installed on buildings and other structures. You may have noticed long rods placed on top of some buildings. This is a lightning conductor. Lightning conductors are long metallic rods or conductors installed at the topmost point of a structure. When lightning occurs, these lightning rods capture the lightning flash charges and pass them to the ground through a safe conducting path, thus protecting the structure and the lives and electrical systems within that structure. You can also read more about lightning conductors from our blogs. The link is provided in the description below. Let's see in more detail how a lightning conductor works. A lightning conductor, as I already mentioned, is installed at the highest point on a building such that it is hit first during a lightning strike, thus preventing the lightning from hitting the building directly and reducing the risk of fire or other damage. Lightning conductors are connected to long, thick copper conductors called down conductors. They are installed from the top of the building to the ground. They provide a low resistance path between the lightning conductor to the ground. They are further attached to an earth rod or earth plate that is buried deep in the ground. Thus, the current from the lightning strike is diverted first through the rod, then into the down conductor and then directly to the ground through the earth rod or the ground rod and is restricted from flowing to the other parts of the building. The lightning conductor works on the principle of induction. When a fully charged cloud passes over a building, the lightning conductor on the building gets an opposite charge through induction. This will ionize the air around the lightning conductor and it acts as a conducting medium, partly neutralizing the charged cloud. The charge acquired by the conductor is carried to the earth through the lightning protection system, thereby protecting the building or structure from direct lightning. Now let's just look at what are the different types of lightning conductors that are available. Lightning conductors are also called lightning rods, finials, air terminals or strike termination devices. Different types of lightning conductors are available today such as hollow conductors, solid, pointed, rounded, flat strips or bristle brush like conductors. The main feature of a lightning conductor is that highly conductive materials such as copper and aluminium are used to make it. The conductor offers the lowest resistance to the charges and quickly conducts them to the ground. 
A good lighting conductor makes the air around it a conductor and contributes to the easy discharge of charged clouds, thus avoiding or minimizing the risk or chances of a lightning strike. There are mainly two types of lightning rods or arresters. The first are Franklin rods and conventional lightning arresters. The second are early streamer emission, also called ESC arresters. We will learn more about ESC and Franklin rods in the next video. To summarize the entire video and how a lightning conductor works, as mentioned earlier, the lightning rod is always placed on the topmost point of a building. It is installed on a mounting base and is connected to an earthing rod or a ground rod through down conductors. The lightning absorbed by the lightning rod is diverted through this path and avoids any damage to the structure. Imagine a fully charged cloud passing over the lightning conductor. The electric charge will flow down to the ground through the lightning protection system until the cloud is fully discharged. Therefore, there will be a lesser impact caused by the lightning thus protecting the building and everything inside the building. Let's conclude today's video by emphasizing that for the safety of any structure from lightning, it is crucial to have a highly conductive lightning conductor and an effective lightning protection system. We hope this video was helpful for you. Follow our channel for more videos on earthing and lightning protection and other electrical systems. Leave a comment down below and let us know if your building or your house is protected from lightning. You can also suggest topics that you would like to learn more about. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified on our new